52 लाख का कैंपस प्लेसमेंट किसी किसी नसीब वाले को ही मिलता है नसीब तो मैं नहीं कहूँगा मेहनत करने वालों को मिलता है तो ऐसे ही एक स्टूडेंट से हम बात करने वाले हैं आज जिनका कैंपस में प्लेसमेंट लगा है 52 लाख का तो कैसे उन्होंने कोडिंग सीखी कैसा उनका इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस था कौन सी कंपनी में वो प्लेस हुए एंड और भी बहुत कुछ हम जानने वाले हैं इस वीडियो में तो वीडियो को एंड तक देखना एंड वीडियो को लाइक कर देना और चैनल को सब्सक्राइब भी कर देना योर नेम शिवन गोड़ा पाटिल एंड विच ब्रांच विच ईयर सी एस सी दिस इज माई ग्रेजुएटिंग ईयर विच कॉलेज आर यू फ्रॉम पी एस यूनिवर्सिटी या एंड वेर डू गेट प्लेस्ड डी शॉ And how much did they offer on campus? On campus, it's fifty-two uh, lakhs. Fifty-two lakhs. Yeah. भाई पैसा हो तो क्या कुछ नहीं हो सकता. And D uh, D Shaw visited your campus, right? Yes, on campus place. And what was the interview process like? Uh, there were about three rounds. Mm-hmm. And uh, three uh, rounds including OA. Uh, no, OA was before the three rounds of interview. Okay. So online assessment initially it was uh, online test and then we had the interview. Okay. Yeah. And what did they ask in the interview? In the interview, it was uh, more of a DSA based, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, some tough competitive coding questions they asked. In depth lead code and code forces kind of problems they asked. Also some operating system they asked. System low level design uh, questions also they asked. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah. And do you remember the exact qu- questions uh, which they asked? Uh, like which data structure were you using? Uh, well so the question uh, the exact question uh, i think the whole thing i don't think i can like cover here actually uh-huh. so it was uh, basically uh, kind of like a recursion problem okay so where it was i could say lead code medium to hard level so uh-huh. recursion problems were in the lead code we can find many right so it was recursion and then uh, in the one question of code forces kind where mm-hmm. they asked uh, some div to c i can say so mm-hmm. that difficulty they asked so mm-hmm. there weren't any many data structures used mm-hmm. so there was just you know logic and uh, thinking was used okay so that's what i would say and in the oa also uh, about the oa mm-hmm. if i want to say is in the oa also they asked some data structures but the other uh, topics like computer networks mm-hmm. and uh, all the dbms core subjects so mm-hmm. they were covered in the oa so it's not like they were purely focusing on the data structures and coding okay. it was uh, like whole of it uh-huh. basically okay yeah. and how many lead code problems have you solved in total in lead code i could say about uh, uh, 400 500 mm. so and uh, in code force combined the whole i would say there are more than 1000 more than 1000 yeah. so you have done uh, like more than 500 on code forces yes Okay. Yeah. And what is your uh, like rating on code forces? It's uh, 1498. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And did you get any other offers? Yeah, I had an offer before. Mm. That was uh, uh Tejas Networks. Okay. So that offer I had. Uh-huh. And then after I got the dream offer, so yeah. Mm. Okay. And what's your CGPA? CGPA is 8.94. Okay. And uh, did they show had any cut off when they interviewed? Yeah, actually, 8.31 was like the cutoff. Mm-hmm. But the initially they let everyone register, and they took like top 200 people. Okay. So that's about uh, more than 8.3. Okay. Is what I can say. And when did you start preparing uh, for interviews? Like when did you start coding? That was fourth sem, like end of the second uh, semester was when I started. Okay. The main thing I would like to suggest about coding is that coding, as in a it's meant to be coding is meant to be done as like a competition i'm fast i'm fast hey. hmm. so the contests are the things which are more important compared to the normal questions mm-hmm. is what i can say so the contest lead code contest it can it can be code mm-hmm. forces it can be so you know what i would suggest is like make a friends group circle mm-hmm. so in the friend circle if everyone is giving and you can see the real time who is doing mm-hmm. better it motivates you to do more right. so it's not like if you're uh, just solving questions i don't think that would be you know uh-huh. uh, you won't put more effort like it's playing like football you yeah. want to like go you want to do something good mm-hmm. yeah it's something like that yeah right, so right. that's what i would say and did you do any paid course or something no no i really don't think paid courses uh, so i didn't do any paid courses but i think a lot of knowledge and all is already available right. so yeah, yeah so that's what i think and how many projects did you build like uh, did you do any web development yeah i did i did web development in third sem mm-hmm. so we had the web tech course 
in that course uh, so one project we had to do at the end of the subject so most of the projects had been done in the college itself because the core subject had a project component uh-huh. so their projects had been done and some cloud computing projects i did mm-hmm. so projects are also very important and also one more thing that might have played a role is one publication also had okay. a research publication uh-huh. so yeah so even that might play a role uh-huh. but i would say majorly they focus on coding and uh, all the other stuff so mm-hmm. research component is uh, not like required they didn't focus more on that but mm-hmm. that might have played a role so mm-hmm. yeah okay any advice for someone who uh, you know get a good package and get a good placement who is in first or second year who wants to start learning coding coding is kind of, this might sound a bit cliche but it's like uh, you know in the three years whatever the rancho or the says yeah. it's just like success ki piche mat bhago excellence excellence ka picha karo success jhak mar ke tumhare piche aayegi you know what you have to do hmm. right so you just believe in yourself you know hmm. you just go on doing what you are doing it's like you achieve the excellence you don't care about uh, hmm. uh, you don't run behind the results so if you keep on doing that consistently and uh, you better be enjoying while doing that so that's also a major component mm-hmm. so if you do that much i guess it should be good so you know take it like as a sport you are learning some new yeah, sport yeah. something like that mm-hmm. so if you do that i guess that's uh, that should great be. yeah that's great advice thank you so much for talking to us yeah it was nice talking to you thank you guys video achhi lagi to like karna mat bhulna aur channel ko subscribe bhi kar dena and agar aap meri placement story janne mein interested ho to ye video aap check out karna mat bhulna until next time goodbye see you soon